right, Krabs. Time for you to die. <laughs> Not so fast, Plankton. I brought back King Neptune's crown, and I'm here to save Mr. Krabs. Nice work, SpongeBob. You made it all the way to Shell City and back. That's a heroic feat. Too bad it won't help. All hail, Plankton. Hey, King Neptune already has a crown. That's no crown, Patrick. It's one of Plankton's bucket hats. Plankton is controlling King Neptune. That's right. And now I'll have the pleasure of removing you along with your friends. Neptune, I command you to kill SpongeBob. Kill SpongeBob.
idiot? Uh, no, no. Uh, idiot. <laughs> uh, French for a uh, handsome man. You take crap. It looks like you were innocent the whole time. Oh well, that's why pencils have erased. And now to thank the brave heroes who recovered my crown and saved Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob and Patrick, you have performed a manly deed. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Minnie. I've learned a few things about myself. I may be a dork and a wingnut. Knucklehead McSpazitron. Yes, but more importantly, I'm a kid. And I like being a kid. I'm just glad that everything is back to normal. And so ends the most heroic tale ever told in Bikini Bottom. And as the sun sets over the island paradise above the waves, we must stop and wonder how long until the sequel depends on the box office. Now go outside and get some sun. You look awful pale. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The world is 